name of a few very responsible engineers who have uh, really influenced me as a very young engineer years ago. Uh, Sir Mokshagundam uh, Vishweshwaraya, as we all know, he was a notable Indian engineer and he was supposed to be one of the first engineers who built the most beautiful Mysore palace and uh, the very big engineering uh, buildings and constructions uh, in India years ago. And we all know that uh, we celebrate his birthday, that is September 15th, as Engineers Day. So Sir Mokshagunda Vishweshwara is actually a very uh, big personality who has influenced me as an engineer from the very young days of my engineering life. To talk about, we have many, many uh, engineers in India who are very famous, who have influenced each one of us present in this session. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, as we call him, the Missile Man of India. Uh, he was the President of India and he was known for his down-to-earth behavior, for his simplicity, his life as he lived as the President of India was exemplary and as we all know, he died while delivering a lecture on creating a livable planet Earth. So throughout his life, he was a very responsible engineer who has lived knowing the rights and responsibilities of an engineer himself. And throughout, he lived a life creating a beautiful living place for the people around him. So this is another great engineer who has influenced our lives. And then we have this Metro Man of India, E. Sridharan. As we all know, he was an IES. Whatever he has done to improve the public transport in India is very well known to the engineering community and even the common man of India. He was basically a civil engineer by profession and he is the Metro Man of India. So to talk about, we have many, many engineers, be it the Google CEO, Sundar Pichai, and around us, we have many responsible engineers who have really made India proud. And people know these engineers all over the world because they were responsible engineers who lived for the rights of engineers and who realized that if we are responsible engineers, we are going to make the life of the people around us very, very comfortable. Why do we talk about the responsibilities and rights of engineers? See, as engineers, we should be very well knowing what are the responsibilities and the rights and the student community around us, the students who are going to be the future engineers, they should be told what are the responsibilities of engineers, what are the rights of engineers. Why? Because we know that until and unless a student knows what are his responsibilities as an engineer, what are his rights as an engineer, he will not be able to become a good ethical professional and serve the society. See, what are the responsibilities? Collegiality and loyalty is a basic responsibility of an engineer. Respect for authority is another very important responsibility. Collective bargaining, confidentiality, conflict of interest, occupational crime. All these few points we will be discussing in the next one hour, which are called the responsibilities of engineers.
then we when we talk about the rights of engineers professional rights employee rights intellectual property rights and discrimination so the responsibilities can be divided into two parts the responsibilities can be internal the responsibilities can be external see what are the internal responsibilities collegiality loyalty respect of authority and collective bargaining and why do we call it internal responsibilities see the responsibilities of an engineer inside an organization it can be towards an employer the responsibilities that an engineer has within one's organization is called internal responsibilities and what are the external responsibilities the external responsibilities are the responsibility that each one of us have towards the world around us that is outside an organization to the society where i live in to the people around me i have a lot of responsibilities as an engineer and that is what you call external responsibilities and in that external responsibilities we have confidentiality conflict of interest and occupational crime confidentiality conflict of interest and occupational crime so we will slowly discuss each one of these internal responsibilities and external responsibilities see what do we call collegiality see the word itself tells us that collegiality is connected to our colleagues the people with whom we are working see collegiality tells us that as an engineer it is my responsibility to support and cooperate with all the colleagues in my engineering community so engineers should never attempt to injure or hurt any engineer's professional reputation so as an engineer i'm supposed to be very careful i should be so that through my thoughts words actions or deeds i should never bring any bad reputation to the professional reputation of my colleagues and when we as engineers work on a project or work together we are not supposed to be criticizing other engineers works unnecessarily we should not be criticizing any other engineers work but as a colleague if i see something unethical if i see some illegal practices happening around me what am i supposed to be doing i should be reporting to the proper authority so being a good colleague means i should not be injuring the reputation of my colleagues i should not be criticizing my colleague when some good work is taking place and but if i see something unethical happening around me i should be telling about it or complaining to the proper authority see what are the elements of collegiality as a colleague i should be respecting i should have commitment and i should be connected with the people working with me so what all points come under the term called respect see i know my colleague has his or her own professional skill my colleague will be devoted to the social goods promoted by the profession so as an engineer my colleague will be serving the society around so i should be respecting that value of my colleague i should realize that every engineer who is working with me is serving the society with his or her own abilities so i should be respecting that ability of my colleague and as we all know see if i have a friend 
how beautifully i behaved to that friend is going to create the response from that particular person same thing happens when you work in a community the way i give respect to my colleagues my colleagues are going to respect me back so collegial respect is actually a reciprocal thing it is like friendship if i am good to my friend naturally the friend is going to be good to me same way if i am going to be a very good colleague who respects my colleagues for all that they do for the society i should naturally be able to gain respect from my colleagues so respect is one very very important point which comes under collegiality what do you mean by commitment see as a student as an engineer for the past so many years i am hearing this word called commitment isn't it actually i should be a very devoted engineer when i practice engineering whether i be a teacher whether i be a professional practicing as an engineer all of us have only one aim in our mind and that aim is we are concerned about the good of the society around me see whatever i do i want the society to be benefited okay so i have to be dedicated to that cause and inside deep inside me there should be a concern for the people around me my dedication my concern and my devotion will prove that i have commitment to this profession called engineer see my colleagues all of them have different different skills so sharing commitments and skill each one of us will be gifted with different different skills different different expertise so sharing commitments and skill cooperating with my colleagues mutually supporting one another this is what we call connectedness among colleagues so these are very important points when i work with my colleagues as an engineer see why do we call collegiality is a virtue see as an engineer collegiality should be encouraged among engineers and all professionals in the society why because see, every professional community has an aim so from the point of view of the society this virtue called collegiality promotes the aim that we have as a profession okay and see each one of us are putting our personal efforts to move together isn't it so if i stand together with my colleagues if each one of us put personal efforts to move forward the society will be benefit and we are supposed to be motivating one another to live up to the profession called engineer so that means collegiality is a virtue which helps us to strengthen motivating one another to move forward as good professionals so actually when we work together in a team this virtue called collegiality it helps the society to be benefited more this will if we have this virtue if each one of us have has this virtue called collegiality we are going to be bringing out wonderful results serving the society as engineers but see as we all know every coin has two sides so collegiality also has positive side and negative side collegiality can be misused see i can uh, create groups in my organization i can bring together uh, colleagues who have similar ideas and similar interests like i have so that can create groupism inside an organization now collegiality can also focus on the corporate goal of maximizing 
profit at the expense of public good. See, if I am influenced by my colleague who is more attached to the management or the organization as such, and to bring up more profits, maybe the colleagues can come together and forget about the major aim as an engineer that I should have. That is, whatever I do, what am I supposed to be doing? I should be utilizing my abilities, my expertise for the public good. So this is one negative aspect of collegiality.